What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Aquarius, aka the Vaping Dreadnought. It's been a little minute. But uh I decided to do a video today because I um got my mail yesterday. I was gonna do it yesterday, but you know, me being me, being lazy, I don't, you know, I just don't do my videos at the right time. Should have did it yesterday when it came through the mail, but hey, what's a day later? Ain't no big deal. But anyway, I missed you guys, so I decided to do a video today. And the video that I'm doing is... Gush. Now, this ain't really a video, I mean a, a review, but... It is my opinions and my thoughts on this juice. I hadn't tasted none of it yet. So this is really a first impressions of how I'ma like it. And you know, cause I'm a big Gushers fan. I, ever since I've been a little small kid and I'm 35 years old today. Today my birthday. So kinda came at the right time, you know. Came yesterday day before my birthday but the day of my birthday which is the 10th of October so it's kind of a gift for me even though it wasn't free of charge I paid for it out of my pocket but it is what it is and like I said I've been a Gushers fan ever since I've been a kid so you know I had to give this juice a try first off for the ones that know about Gush E juice it's been out for a little while and the label have changed. It's not the same as the package or either the box used to look. They switched up the look a little bit, which is kind of good because I heard that was kind of an infringement of what they was doing. But this bottle is still 30 mils, and it's this bottle right here particularly is six milligrams of nicotine. Some people get three. I'm a six guy. I used to be three, but. You know, I kind of increased my nicotine intake as I've been vaping. But, uh, yeah, this is my thoughts on this juice. And the VG ratio on this is 80. And the PG ratio on this is 20, so it's an 80-20. I love high VG juices. These last couple of weeks I've been vaping 50-50, but I ran out of that. And they've been 10 ml bottles, so... This is kind of a blessing in disguise for me. But, uh, yep. The day I'll be doing it on my old trusty tugboat, dripping it, because I know that I'm going to want to stretch this juice and I'm not going to be putting it in my tank. I was going to put it in my tank. My tank empty, so... I might end up putting some in there, but not, not today. I'm going to be dripping this today for, you know, YouTube purposes and give you my thoughts and my opinions on it. And I'm on my AR mod. I done had this AR mod for about a little over a month. Maybe going on to two months. And this thing kicks. I mean, it. I like it. Before I start that, though, I'm going to switch my battery out. And this AR is uh has a uh, copper contact so you know it really chucks I like it fresh battery straight off the charger I ordered these batteries from China got them from off of fast tech and a lot of people say that they don't like uh, batteries come out of China because they're counterfeit or whatever. I don't care, as long as they're safe. And I always rewrap my batteries anyway, so it's not a big deal to me. Not a big deal. Some people are just picky. I'm picky too. I'm safe, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you just got to know these things, especially whenever you jump into vaping. It's kind of a knowledge build thing that you just got to start learning. You know good and you know bad when you see it. 
and when you deal with it. All right, smells good. Matter of fact, it smells just like a pack of gushes. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, that, that's, that's a trip right there. And whenever I just did that as far as the vapor, when it came out my holes, oh man, it smelled like a pack of gushes. Tastes like gushes. Here we go. All right, right off the bat, you see the uh, the clouds coming from this is producing some very very nice clouds. I love that and I miss that. But the flavor. On the inhale, you get like a, a gummy, like a, almost a tropical, tropical fruit slash strawberry taste. And on the exhale, you get like a tangy. It's like a sour, it's like a gummy with strawberry on the inhale. And then as you exhale, it tastes like the middle of the gusher. That's the best way to explain it. Cause I've been a gusher head ever since I'm a kid and I'm 35 years old and I still go to food line and I buy me a box here and there. Not here and there, but whenever I go shopping, I get me a box, me and my wife. Oh man, this is lovely. I love it. Different strokes for different folks because as I um before I got this juice I did my you know my research and looking at videos and a lot of people like it and some people don't but me I like it this is cool I like it good flavor this could be an ADV for me but I would switch out you know so I wouldn't get tired of it but like I said I love gushes so much to the point I really don't think that I get tired of it I love gushes man. Excuse me. Man, I love that. Big full bottle. I'm going to take my time on this. Big full bottle. Yes, sir. I think I'm going to try to let it steep just to bring out some more of the flavors. Now, it's a mild flavor. It's really, really mild, but yet the flavor is there. It's very sweet. It's really sweet. No juice is splashing out. So, I mean, this is just straight sweetness from the juice yeah let's do one more drip and after that I'm gonna put it up because I gotta make that stretch I gotta make this last I would be so hurt if I wasted some of this juice And as you can see, I'm not even dripping a lot at a time. I still leave some in my tube. So just in case I want to go back for seconds. I'm stingy when it comes to my own juices. I'm stingy towards myself. But I'm free hearted because if somebody would ever want to try it, I would drip some on their cotton or, you know, I would put some in their bottle. So I'm not no stingy person. It's just I'm stingy towards myself because I like making stuff last, especially when it's good good like this it's a preferred taste if you like gushes you're gonna love it if you don't and you ain't no gushes fan or you ain't into the fruit snacks type candies or fruit snacks you might not like it but I love it Very delicious clouds. I 
I did order this from Midnight Vape Co. AKA Midnight Vape Company. That's what the Co stands for. I know you know that, but this kind of pees me off when a lot of people say Co. Just like they don't know that the abbreviation means company. But uh, yeah, Midnight Vapes Company. New label. Not the same label that they used to have when it first came out. I like this new label a lot anyway. But the old label is what draw me to it. And when it came in the mail, I was like, they switched the label out. Which is kind of cool. It's alright. Save juice. This is a point two build that I have in here, so I'm getting all of the flavors. Point two. But uh I might end up putting some of my E Leaf uh my E Leaf uh, <laughs> Lord Jesus uh Limo drop. I really couldn't think of it right then. I had to look at it. My limo dropped because this thing produced some flavor too. But uh It's really delicious. I like that. So I'm I'm definitely gonna hang on this for a little bit and then I might order me another bottle when I start getting at least halfway. I don't know. I might try the Roly. I know I'm gonna try that Burst. Anybody that's familiar with Midnight Vape Co, you know they got Burst up there, they got Roly. They got some other flavors up there that I'll be trying, but this, I will be getting me another bottle of. Yep. Yeah, six nick is really not that strong on my throat. A lot of people say that this is a harsh juice. It's not harsh to me. It's really smooth. But I guess it all depends. It's it's taste acquired and you know nicotine acquired. So whoever said that this juice is harsh is because it probably didn't have their usual nick strength. It probably went up and above their usual. But me, I'm a six nick guy some cases I can vape a nine so I even got some um Dr. Creamy's on the way milkshake strawberry milkshake and that's a nine so I hope this is smooth as this but uh yeah this is my thoughts on it man my thoughts on Gush it's very good juice I'm really really surprised at how close this is tasting the Gushers it don't taste exactly like a Gusher but I mean not trying to contradict myself, but it, it tastes close enough to gushes to the point where it could be an ADV. You know, it's a very good juice. There's nothing nasty about it. It's real smooth, real good on the palate. You don't make your mouth dry. You don't get the vapor tone and all that type of stuff. But yeah, man, give it a try. Give it a go. And if you like gushes, I'm pretty sure that you'll like it. In my case, I love it. So. First time vaping it, first time ever, you know, even consider getting it because I'm, whenever I seen the commercial, I mean not commercial, but videos, I was enticing to getting it, so I'm glad I did, and thank you guys for watching, man, to all my subscribers, I appreciate y'all, man, definitely, this is your boy Vaping Dreadnought, and I'm out.